Right? She knew her hands were toughened by hard work. She knew how poor she was, and she knew how rich Solomon was. Yet he loved her so much. You may very well have an extremely low opinion of yourself. Jesus doesn't share to him, you are the apple of his eye. He wants you to become ever more aware of how much he loves you, that he might truly know, that you might truly know him. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18, how wide, long, high, and deep in love we are. There's, a, there's almost a moving story of love. In Luke chapter 7, verse 36 through 50, and you guys can read that later, just mark that in your Bible church online and, and the live church here, about a woman lived a sinful life, touched by Jesus, she had experienced his love. So she came to him, did not feel worthy, and even said of her, she loves much. How are you responding to the love that Jesus gave you? Did he look at you and say, he loves you much? Did you look at him and say, you love him much? In closing, um, the idea with these scriptures and with these services, especially on Valentine's Day, is if you're looking for lust, look for the real thing. Look for real marriage. Fall in love. Be marriage. Be godly. And, and, and follow, follow the laws and the commandments that are in the Bible. For at the end, there will be your judgment in heaven. And if you're following the laws and, and the commandments as best you can in, in the Bible, then when you go to Judgment Day, Jesus and God will look down on you and said, You did okay. Not bad. You made a few mistakes. We'll overlook those mistakes. So, if you want to go on and, and talk more about marriage and love. Um, Jesus talks about the marriage of Adam and Eve. And yes, marriage even went right to the beginning of Genesis with Adam and Eve. Just go to Genesis 2 and, and read the scriptures and go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 through 6 and read those scriptures. Marriage through the years um, is what God is looking for. You don't need lust. You don't need the 10 minutes in the back of the Volvo. You don't need the, the, the 15 minutes on, on a hill deep dark in the middle of the, in the, middle of the winter. Um, you need something that's going to last. 30 years is a long time to be with somebody. So I'm sure when we pass on and get to the kingdom of heaven, Jesus is going to say, good job. You did what you were supposed to do. So we're going to change the service up a little bit. We're going to make the benediction the last thing as we close. So there's just a few notes before we go to communion. Um, for Church Online, the Ash Wednesday service will be at 7 p.m. broadcast live. You can catch us on live stream at that point in time. Also, um, for everybody, we have these little cards and, and there's, a, there's a PDF file of this online that you can download off the church website. Fill these out for the New Pocket Testament. And mail these back. Um, I PDF both sides of these things, so you, so they're going. You get these little nice. Be able to give out these little testaments of John, uh, books of John. Um, also, if you if you want to catch up and you don't know what the Pocket Testament League is, um, on my on the video on demand, there is a promo for it that you can watch. And also, as of today. In seven weeks that the church has been in operation, we have had 5,949 hits to the online church website. So my, the online community is kicking in. Good job, everybody. I'm glad you're all tuning in to watch what goes on with my life here every Sunday. And now, if we could bow our heads and pray. How can you follow that? <laughs> oh Lord, we know that you are everywhere and nothing happens that you cannot see. 
But even so, we pray that you will come and join us directly at this time. As we seek our communion now with you, we love you. Lord, we give ourselves to you. And now we pray you give yourself to us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. As they were eating from Matthew 26, 26 through 30, as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, eat, this is my body. When they were done eating, he took the wine and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. For those who want to receive communion, we can do that at this time. And last but not least, to close our service for today, Deacon Jessica will do our benediction. When we both come, we have children. Um, today's closing benediction is a prayer. If anybody would like to bow their heads, go ahead. Go in peace. Live simply at home in yourself. Be just, be just in words and just in your deed. Remember the depth of your own compassion. Do not forget your power in the days of your powerlessness. Do not desire with desire to be wealthier than your peers or and never stint your hand in charity. Practice forbearance in all you do. Speak true, fault or don't speak at all. <clears throat> Take care of your body. Be good to it. It is a good gift. Crave peace, um, crave peace for all the peoples in the world, beginning with yourselves. And as you go, and, and go as you go with the dream of that peace set firm in your heart. Amen.